いけ翼Hello everyone, this is Nothing Excess today, working with Ike Tsubasa to provide you with a belated but still important player analysis for the previous Dreamfest characters, Franz Chester and Manfred Margus. It was speculated for a while that they wouldn't release players like them for quite some time, but with their release, the floodgates are now open for players like Salinas or Alberto to finally make it as Dreamfest players. Anyways, without further delay, let's talk about the two players. Let's start with Franz Chester, the elegant attacking midfielder. Chester is a powerhouse utility midfielder with a lot of options, boasting top 10 pre-buff dribbling and passing stats while still being incredibly potent in tackling and interception, he's easily the most complete toughness and European midfielder in the game, with a team skill that also opens up a bit of interesting team compositions, particularly for those of you who might have been wondering how you could use, say, the event Europe Japan Misaki. He comes with an S dribble with a high momentum cap of 475 while also having access to a solid A tackle and solid A pass and his good skill support such as the old farmable S pass from the Germany Dream Pot last year will keep him relevant for a long time. Additionally, he's quite strong whenever he's playing in the midfield making him ideal to be one of your central attacking midfielders or a defensive midfielder. A balanced limit break that focuses on dribbling, tackling, speed, passing, interception, and technique should be good enough to fully maximize his potential. Good skills to finish rounding him out are the S teamwork combo, which is a 1-2 with Margus, and S or A magnificent interception. Next up, we have Manfred Margus, the competitive game master. Margus is a European skill type forward with access to 12% higher stats when in the penalty area and a very good high ball parameter, making him 25% stronger when dealing with high balls. Paired with his incredibly high total shot stat of 12,598, it means that he is the undisputed king of the air when it comes to high balls in the box. He is, however, like every other skill type unit in the game, dependent on skills from many other versions of himself. Unlike Chester, who comes with his most powerful skills already pre-installed in the form of a powerful S dribble and A pass, this Margus does come with a decent enough 455 momentum ground shot that has no distance decay. This is his strongest ground shot, stronger than the other, other alternative that he has, which is the S version of bullet shot, which makes him surprisingly relevant once he's inside the very edge of the box, but it's not particularly threatening right outside of it due to his passive. That said, if you had played for long enough to have farmed up his high angle header to a decent degree, having this version of Margus gives you access to one of the best high ballers in the game with access to a veritable high ball nuke for a staggeringly low stamina cost. Added bonuses are his A teamwork combo 1 2 that he has with Chester, and the first access he's ever had to any kind of dribble in A power dribble, which is easy to max with SR units. With all of that together, you have a complete striker that Green Europe teams will be happy to have. To make the most out of him, a limit break that's focused on shooting, power, and speed is most important to get in the box quickly and score, with a pass and technique split added to aid in distributing the ball as a backup or to be able to use his 1-2 effectively. Another thing to note is that high angle header is a shot with a 90% goal judgment, which means that it will not score 100% of the time even if it beats the goalkeeper, so please keep that in mind when deciding to use him in your green Europe team as a forward. Anyways, everyone, thank you very much for checking out this video and thank you to Ike Subasa for reaching out to me to do this collaboration video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And being that this uh, actual recording was only managed to, it only managed to come together very late because of some issues that I was having with uh, microphones and being able to record in a place with very little noise. Um, and I really wanted to give Ike Subasa quite possibly the best quality I could by making sure that this was a high quality audio recording. And, um, that I guess pretty much like that perfectionism got in the way of me being able to deliver this on time. So we're pretty much right by the next Dream Fest. So what's going to happen is that we're going to, now that I have this equipment, um, you might hear me again for Dream Fest Matsuyama and for the new Dream Fest Brian Kluivert, which were just teased today. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Um, I don't think that this will be a regular thing. I just wanted to 
throw my support behind Ike Subasa because I think that they are doing great things and I think their production value and the quality of these videos is very high and I think you guys um, should really give them a chance and should really put, uh, I guess, put your faith in them um, and subscribe, like their, like their content and just get in there and really uh, support them and hopefully in time that they will grow into something that is a resource that you guys find absolutely useful and entertaining. So all of that said, thank you guys for checking out this video and I hope to see you guys soon.